I guess my concern is when we looked at this project to start with, what is going to be the benefit of those below you? You, know, you don't do one part of it to make it right, and the next thing you know, we've harmed somebody else below us. You know, and so if we're going to do the project, uh, we need to do it correctly so it operates functionally. Uh, if we don't do that, you know, we've had problems below us. Uh, we all know that. Uh, and so uh, I think we you know, I think we should try to do minimal damage if that's at all possible. But I think that, you know, my opinion, uh, it's personally just mine, I think it needs to be looked at. If, if we don't need, to need it in the project, that's fine. But if it's going to uh, put the Gearing Fort Army ditch at risk, which I understand it does, uh, something needs to be done because we've had those floods. Uh, if you've ever been below one, you know, then you start appreciating that. So. Um, I grew up um, in a farmhouse and the irrigation ditch went right by my bedroom. Why is it not an option of dredging that ditch deeper so that it will carry more, more water? So there won't be a danger of flooding. Dredging which ditch? The, the Gearing Court Levy ditch. Why can't that be dredged deeper to carry more water so that it doesn't overflow? You know, you can't dredge it deeper. If you dredge it deeper, how are you going to get the water out of the, the ditch for the delivery of the, to the farms? Well, that would have to be reworked too. No. But you can make the banks higher and then... You know, well, and as far as banks, why did the Gearing Fort Miami Irrigation Ditch come along and grade all the banks down on the ditch? So it well, I don't know. I have, I, I have no do nothing you know to do that with that. I'm just saying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to rationalize what we are trying to do for the entire drainage. You know, and everybody has to cooperate to try to make that work for everybody. Our obligation as a society is to also be looking out for thy neighbor. And that is what we, this whole project started out to do. I mean, we're not looking, saying, oh, we ought to do this project just as, you know, put a feather in our hat. It was something that needed to be done and it fell into our laps. But it and hasn't so, been accomplished for 40 years and we haven't had a lot of floods and damage. I mean, I would understand you talking about your neighbor if we had, you know, a real problem every year with flooding, and if there was a situation where farmers couldn't make a living, and, and they were constantly losing crops and losing bridges and losing roads, that is not the case, sir. It is happen It happens occasionally, but that is the price of having you know, land. You know, occasionally, in the, in the is what we're trying to keep prevent. Well, the Yenson drain is the, the, the last project left to be done uh, in the project, and. Uh, <coughs> Therefore, a few years, there was not much effort made to, to do it, and then there's been renewed uh, concern uh, here more recently. Uh, there hasn't been um, significant flooding out there, certainly for the last 10 years. We've been in the midst of a drought, but uh, flooding, um, I mean, I'm sure we're going to have issues with flooding in the, in the future. I, I will say that we have not been able to finish the, the cultural resource uh, survey on the land, uh, the survey for threatened and endangered species, or do a geologic investigation to see if we can even build it there. I mean, we may run into that and not be able to build it anyway, you know, if there's some problems with, with those things. And uh, I would agree that. It's scenic there, it's, it looks typical of the monument uh, um, scenery or uh, aspects there. Um, it does yeah. have that uniqueness to it that, that uh, in a lot of other projects that, that wouldn't be. How about the wishes? Well, what you're asking us to vote on is if we still support the project, knowing all the work hasn't been done. I mean, right. there's still work to be done on your end to know whether it can all be finished or not, correct? Well, I guess it'd be about a couple of choices. <clears throat> we could do the project without the vets of land. We'll lose about half of the benefit. 
whether we support the project in total or we don't support it at all. I mean, forget it, the whole project. We have about three choices. I mean, it's unfortunate we didn't have these concerns last year or the year before. And, you know, because we've been discussing this pretty thoroughly. Yeah. It comes up every other meeting or so for the five years I've been on the board, and we've never had any concerns until we get to the within an hour when we got to make a decision. I don't know what to think. We're, we're weighing the, the benefits to the area. And that's the thing. As a whole. You know, I, I would like to say uh, you leave them out. But if we're going to make, if we're going to do the project and do the benefit that the project is designed to do, then you know, even cutting it 50% is not going to be that much help. On, on the other side of the equation is uh, there are probably several problems or potential problems with landowners. Uh, there is the, uh, there's the, the Betz's is property. Um, I think I, the other landowners, most of them have signed easements, but there could be some who haven't. And I know that this, there, there have been various points of contention over the years. There are also two wells, uh, domestic wells, that could be affected by this. And, but if you want a motion, if you want a motion, uh, I'll offer a motion to, to at least move this discussion forward and, and see what we want to do with it as a board. I will, uh, I will move that we direct the staff to send a letter to the state conservationist stating that the uh, NRD will uh, stand behind the project with the removal of the Betz's land. You're going to remove it? Yeah. And, and go ahead with the rest of the project. <clears throat> Any discussion on it? Or a second? for lack of a second. I guess to move it along, I will make a motion that we approve the project as the plan states. And I will second that. Any discussion? Any poll? <clears throat> Austic. For the general benefit, I'll say yes. Woolers, yes. Darnell. I'm going to vote no. Dillman. Yes. Weinrest? Yes. Hall? Yes. Five yes, one no. Motion carried. Appreciate your time. <clears throat> and that was assures us that this could be seated back to native grass and it should not be bothered you very much at all. It's well bothered me. It's to get done. Now, it's, it's not positive it's going to be done yet, but we, we support it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.